Hello everyone. Let us start the new topic that is fractions and decimals. So in this video basically we are going to learn some definition and types. So what is fraction? A fraction is a number which represent a part of a whole. The whole may be a single object or a group of objects. So a fraction is written in the form of p by q where p and q are whole numbers and q is not equal to 0. For example in the fraction 2 by 3, 2 is numerator or it is also called as dividend and 3 is denominator it is also known as divisor. Classification of fractions that means how many types of fractions are there. So first one is proper fraction. A fraction whose numerator is greater than 0 but less than its denominator. As you can see in this example, 3 is numerator and it is less than the denominator 5. Improper fraction. A fraction whose numerator is equal to or greater than its denominator. For example, 12 by 5. Mixed fraction. A number that consists of two parts a natural number and a proper fraction. So in this example 3 is the natural number and 5 by 7 is the fraction. Later on we have to solve by 7 into 3 plus 5 by 7. So it will be 21 plus 5 by 7 that means 26 by 7. Uh, it, that means it get changes to improper fraction. So whenever we get any answer in improper fraction, we have to convert it in mixed fraction. Let us move to decimal fraction. A fraction whose denominator is either 10 or 100 or 1000 like this one. Okay. Now vulgar fraction. A fraction whose denominator is a number other than 10, 100 or 1000. For example, 7 by 11. As you can see, in the denominator, it is 11. So whenever we get the denominator as 10, 100 or 1000 or 10,000, whatever, it is called decimal fraction. And apart from this one, every fraction is called vulgar fraction. Like fractions. Two or more fractions having same denominator, they are called like fractions. Like one fraction is 3 by 11 and second one is 7 by 11 you can see their denominators are same that is 11 so they are like fractions to solve the problem we have to convert the fractions into like fractions by taking LCM unlike fractions if two or more fractions having different denominators as you can see in this example as I have told you earlier that for solving the questions we have to make the denominator same Equivalent fraction. Two or more fractions are called equivalent fractions if they have same values. For example, 2 by 3, 4 by 6. How they are equivalent? If I change this 4 by 6 in its simplest form, then it will be same as 2 by 3. So, it is known as equivalent fraction. Simplest form. If numerator and denominator of a fraction have no common factor except 1 then the fraction is said to be in the simplest form or in lowest form as I have see, shown you in this example now this 4 by 6 fraction is changed to the simplest form that means there is no other common factor except 1 now decimals like and unlike numbers the decimal numbers have an equal number of decimal places are called dis like decimal numbers. Like as you can see in these examples, every decimal numbers having two digits after decimal. Like in this one, 0.79 two digit after decimal, 0 0.05 two digit after decimal, 0 0.70 two digit after decimal. These are called like decimal numbers. Now decimal numbers having different number of decimal places are called unlike decimal numbers as you can see in this example 0.5 that means one digit after decimal 0.50 two digit after decimal 0 
two three three digit after decimal so whenever we are solving any question we have to convert unlike decimal numbers to like decimal numbers how we will convert suppose it is 3.5 and it is 7.023 and take this example also 27.50 we will choose the largest one that is in this number there is three digit after decimal so we will convert everything how we will convert we will add two zero here to make it three digit after decimal we will add one zero here to make it three digit after decimal after that we want to add subtract whatever operation we want to perform we can do so i hope this video is helpful for you keep practicing in next video i will explain with the help of some more questions till then thank you